Welcome back guys. You're looking excellent. Prado 150 out of here. Today's just going to be a very short video. And before we get started, I just wanted to thank all you guys that are subscribing to our channel. We never thought that we would ever come this far with, with our channel. We started off by uh, with using the GoPro and going to Cape York with the kids. And uh, since then we've built on that. If you haven't already, check out some of my videos. Our channel's based on family camping and full driving. Main emphasis is, of course, on the Prado. Um, and if you have a look at my videos, you'll see how we've gone from a stock Prado to a budget build, uh, setting it up just for, uh, for what we want, um, to go full driving, camping, and watch this space because uh, while well, they've extended it to April now, 2023, but we purchased a Jayco Crosstrack uh, caravan. So uh, watch out for that. That's April uh, next year. So we're really looking forward uh, to doing that. Now we did a, a bit of a, a goal and we said once we got to a thousand subscribers, we were gonna donate a thousand dollars to the Red Kidney Bus. If you'd like some more information on what I'm talking about there, again, just go back and have a look at some of my other videos. Uh, Shelly, my wife, uh, she has kidney failure. She's had it for five years and she's currently on kidney dialysis, which requires her to go to the clinic three days a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sit in a chair for five hours and have her blood uh, filtered, which is doing what, you know, what a kidney does. So, we just wanted to show you that even with that ailment or medical ailment, uh, we're still keen and we do whatever it takes to get out there and have fun with the family. Shelley loves camping. She likes some four-wheel driving. <laughs> uh, I'm yet to, that's, I'm yet to, uh, I, I want to, in the new year, I want to get her more involved in, in driving some, uh, some tracks and so you'll see a bit more of that coming up. So, uh, yet to come, I need to go down to Robino Rotary and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, donating the thousand dollars that we promised uh, towards the red kidney bus, uh, in this case for Queensland. Other states have one, but Queensland doesn't and we've experienced firsthand what it's like to go on your holiday and book into the red kidney bus, get your dialysis and yet still have a awesome holiday without having to rush back home you know by a certain time to get that dialysis done. To uh, share with you guys uh, I know a lot of you that are watching um, have you know you've got families young kids and uh, I assume you wouldn't be watching my videos if you don't like going camping and uh, doing some full driving. Probably a good percentage of you guys would have uh, a Prado of, of some sort you know varying models or years or uh, whatever and uh, you, everyone would be at a different stage of what they're doing to their Prado. Um, maybe you're setting it up to go camping, uh, maybe you tow a caravan with, with the Prado, um, maybe you're just starting out, you've got the young kids and you, you're getting out there, uh, you know, doing some camping and uh, just having fun getting out there. That's our motto Prado 150 out of here. So that just brings me to a point we, and I'll show you, I'll just put up some photos here. We have just, Joshua, he's uh, gonna be 18. <laughs> Can you believe that? He's gonna be 18 next month. He's just graduated from high school. Um, same as Penny, his girlfriend Penny. Um, you'll see some photos there as well. And I just wanna say thank you to Ruben from DMW. He absolutely made their night and made my daughter's night, Chloe, by giving her a ride in his 79 series Land Cruiser because she loves them. <laughs> so, Ruben, if you're watching, thank you, mate. You absolutely just completed their, their night and, uh, and Joshua and Penny's formal, so thanks again. So I don't know about you guys. I just had a bit of a moment there uh, for a bit. Um, you know, you... you you got these kids and their time is absolutely flying. Flying past, you know, you, 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 if you're, you're a dad out there, you know what it's like. So you've got, you know, responsibilities, pressures. Uh, you know, you, you've got to earn the income and you've got to spend time with the family. 
Um, and it's all a bit of a it's all a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? You know, um, you want to spend time with the family, but sometimes you have to work. And sometimes you have to do this and you have to do that. But I've got to say that um, coming out of that stage, we've still got two more kids to go to, you know, get to year 12. But as a bit of a reflection, um, you know, I've had a reflection on just the year, especially with Joshua finishing in year 12. And um, you, you can always do more. You know, we, we do our best. You can always do more. But on a reflection, we have made it our sole purpose to just get out there with these kids. And um, so I'm going to encourage you guys with the younger kids. That is the best way to spend time with, with your kids. Um, I know phones seem to be, they all they do is be on their phones. If you can pick a camping spot with no phone signal, look, you don't have to have a plan. You just go out there if you like camping on the beach. Um, you know, you grab your, grab a swag, grab a tent, whatever it is, and you get out there with those kids, even if it's just for one night. If it's not your style of camping, beach camping, there's many different styles of uh, camping spots you can go to, from, you know, paid camping places to free camps to caravan parks. It doesn't really matter. What matters is what I found is it's just getting out there, getting away from your normal environment at home and getting out there with those kids, you know, cooking, um, chucking the ball around, swimming, swimming in the creek, um, all that kind of stuff, and you don't need much. You, you know, you can't say, oh, well, my car's not built for that, or I don't have a rooftop tent, I don't have a caravan, I don't have a swag, whatever it is. Look, you can go on these marketplaces, or eBay, or whatever it is, and if you've got to start with something, start by getting secondhand stuff. Buy that tent. You know um, that fits everybody in. Get your blow-up mattress. Make sure you take your pillow with you, though. I would highly recommend that. <laughs> and that's all you need. You can buy those cookers from BCF or wherever, or secondhand. They use those little canisters. And um, you know you've got your cooking uh, stuff. Buy yourself a plastic crate. Put your food in. Put you know. You just got to do it. You just got to get out there. I, I, I know I'm harping on about this, but I've been I've been through it. There's been times where I've kind of woken up the morning of going, we're going to go away with the kids and it might be a time that Shelley's not able to go. And, you know, I just haven't felt like doing it. You know, I'm just not in the mood or too many things to do at home. And I've just, I've almost gone, oh, look, kids, I, I can't do it today. We're going to have to save this for another weekend. Well, there's never going to be another weekend. And thank goodness that I've got a supportive wife. And she said, look, don't worry about that stuff. Just go, go and do it. It's more important for you to spend time with the kids, at, particularly at that age, because you won't get the time back and, get, and go and do it. And you know what, I've taken that advice and some of those trips have been the best, you know, the best trips that, that we've had. And look, we've got one that's not 100% keen on, on camping, you know, like, and that's Chloe. Um, she likes a bit more of the comfy stuff. So, yep, yeah, that's fair enough. But in those occasions, to kind of help her along a bit, we always try and, you know, bring a friend or something that she can have fun with as well. So there's, there's some good ideas. But what I, I'll tell you what, what I've learned. Don't not do it. You don't want to be in a, thing where, uh, a situation where they've hit year 12, like Joshua. They're graduating. They're, they've got their, their job or whatever it is. They haven't left home yet. Josh hasn't left home. But, you know, that, that's, that's around the corner. You don't want that to happen and go, man, I don't even know my kids. I, you know, the last five or six years have gone by and where's it gone? Um, and they're walking out the door to, to go to work. And yet it, it brings a tear to my eye to, to kind of think that. I'd, I'd, I'll, go, I'll be really honest here. Um, when, he let, when, 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 we've, when he's graduated and, and they've gone off for the week, for their school this week, was a bit of a, I don't know, I, I, won't co I won't say it's a dark moment, but it certainly was a, a moment of reflection. And, uh, you know, it was a mix. It was, it, it was really weird. It was mixed feelings of joy and sadness. And, you, you know, he, he's, he's got his own life. He's off he goes. And as I talk, it, right now, it, it brings, you know, it just brings that emotion um, back. But I'll tell you what, it's been, it's been awesome. It hasn't been an easy road. It's not an easy road bringing up kids. Um, you know, I'd be not being very honest if I sat here and said we've, it's been all smooth going. It, it, it hasn't. Um, 
might not see eye to eye, but heart to heart. And I think that's what I've tried to establish with, you know, with my kids. And it's been a, a rocky road, you know, the, the, the car buying, you know, they, they have their mindset on buying cars. And Josh Rowe, well, you know, I'll take my hat off to you, mate. I'm not having a go here, but he's strong-headed. He's just, you know, he, if he sees something, he, he wants it. He's going he's gonna to get it. Uh, he's probably learned a few things along the way, but on a positive note, you know, we've had fun just doing stuff to the car, you know, and um, being out there, just doing it together. And you'll see a few videos uh, on that. So that's important. Lachlan, he's, just, he's still on his learners, but he, as you said, we've just, I've just done that rig rundown uh, of his car. And uh, so he's got that. And, you know, what I, these boys, they, they, they're, just, they, they're working, they're going to save their money a little bit, do a bit of work to their car, save some more, and just get these rigs going. So they can go and do what, what we, we just love doing it. We love doing it. The boys just can't wait. They can't wait to get out there and do a track. They can't wait to, you know, grab their swag and just go. And they've done it. Um, actually, they've, they've, been, they've done it and I haven't been able to go on whatever, for whatever reason in, in the last month or two. But they love it so much that they're just going, well, we're going, Dad. Can we borrow this from you? Can we borrow that? And off they go. So, but I just wanted to share that with you guys as a, I'd like to say I'm a young dad, <laughs> a young father that has had gone through um, those teenage years. I'm not out, I'm not, you know, well, I haven't not finished the race yet with them, but I do have one child that's Joshua that's obviously at the other end of that stress because I get a lot of, you know, I get a few questions from some of my videos about the family stuff and the kids and doing time, you know, spending time with the family. Just make sure you do it. Just do it do it. There's no reason why you can't do it. Don't let any reason stop you from doing it. Don't wake up in the morning and go, I've got too much stuff to do at home. I can't do it. Um, or, um, and look, times are hard. Some of these camping places that we've been to, um, you know, we've done the, the four dry parks and they're expensive. There are other times, uh, and we've done that a few times, but you know, if it's if it's the cost of, of going camping or, or whatever it is uh, on a particular weekend, and you just don't have the the funds as such, there are cheaper options to go camping. There's hip, you know, like you look up hip camp. You can go and see it, stay on someone's property for ten or fifteen bucks for the for the night or for the weekend, and you might get one with a creek. And it's just that time to chill out and focus on the on the kids and just see what they're up to and get to know them and get them involved in you know, you're cooking and having a fire and uh, if you can, you know, go a little bit of full driving or full on go for the full tracks, you know, whatever, but you got to start somewhere. So look guys, I hope I've made sense. I just wanted to share my heart with you guys. As I said, we are a YouTube channel based on family uh, and getting the kids involved, full driving and, and camping and combining uh, the two. And um, as you can see, our kids love it. They absolutely love it. That's that's what they live for, you know, getting out there and taking their own rigs out there um, and having a go. Just having a go. That's what it's all about. Gets them outside, gets you outside as, as the father, as a dad. Um, gives mum a break maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Get mum out there as well. Mum and dad and the kids. Doesn't matter how young they are. Yeah, so we... We didn't do YouTube back then. We, we've done a lot of trips. We, we went from Brisbane to Perth, uh, towing a, a camper trailer, and our kids were, you know, toddlers. And we did it, we still did it. We did it, we, uh, I won't say it's easy, but we still did it. And they, some of, the, well, not probably that, not that young, but some of the stuff we did as kids, they, they will, re they remember, and they talk about it to this day, even as uh, older teenagers. And by the way, I just want to say, that over one and a half years ago, I would not think that I would be sitting here in front of these, this lens <laughs> of the camera. Because, um, yeah, that was, a, that was a big step for me to be on this side of the camera. Love being on the other side. I used to, I've done, you know, weddings and photography and all sorts of stuff like that in, in you know, in the past. Uh, and I've been fine sitting behind that camera. <laughs> Put me here right now. Um, yeah, I would have done this 12 months, you know, 12 or 18 months ago. Would would not be sitting here 
talking to you guys um, about this kind of stuff. I, I know I've been presenting a few things. We've got um, I've got Bullies Off Road uh, here, four drive. He's a local fella, uh, Dennis. So um, I I support him, but we don't. We're not sponsored by anyone. We we don't get um, we're not getting paid to anything for anything. We just you know uh, we just do the YouTube uh, channel. It would be nice to to get a few things just to help with the cost and all that. But generally speaking, what you see is what you get, and what we use if it's good, I'll I'll tell you that it's good, and uh, if it's bad, I'll tell you it's bad, or you won't hear from me about it. <laughs> 2022 for Prado 150 out of here. We always have this joke because we've called it that name. So um, not not that I'm planning on it, but um, I suppose we can't go and get a 200 series Land Cruiser because then I'd have to change the name. But Prado's are underrated. You, you must agree. We I did a survey and most a lot of most people said that they are under, underrated. So we're going to stick with the Prado and we want to show you guys just how capable this Prado is. I know it's not a V8 Land Cruiser, and I suppose that's yeah, that's the only. I reckon that's the only big difference in cap in capabilities is that it's it doesn't have the big you know V8 sound and power. However, though, um, every time I take this car out and I just stretch myself a little bit more, it really surprises me what this thing can do. What's happening in 2023? We, as I said before, we're going to get a caravan in April, so we're going to uh, do a lot of trips with that, and we'll show you uh, the the cross track that we that we bought. If you want to see what we bought, just go back on some videos. Um, there's a video on the when we went to the caravan show, and we met Jace from All Four Adventure, and we chatted with him. And also, we also got another video where we're showing you actually going in and buying you know, buying the, the caravan and just walking through it all and explaining on how it works. So that, we thought that was the best option uh, for us. As you know, the Prados can't really tow the big stuff. And personally, call me a wuss or whatever it is, whatever you want to call me, but I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not keen on, uh, I'm just not keen on towing the big massive uh, caravans. Um, and I'm keen to take them off-road. So this was a perfect fit for the Prado. From what I can remember, it's, uh, you know, 1.8 tons. It's under the two ton uh, kilo, kilos for the uh, ATM. And sure, uh, toilet and shower, you know, for, well, for me too, but, you know, for Shelly, a little bit of comfort, uh, but you can go off-grid, still go four driving with it, and uh, it's just gonna add, um, I don't know, add some more comfort. It'll add us extending our trips uh, on a longer, longer term. So that's coming up in 2023. More trips, uh, different destinations. Uh, you're probably going to see the kids' rigs in some more of the videos, which is great. It always adds to the excitement and fun. Uh, so uh, yeah, stay tuned. Keep watching for that. So guys, I hope I hope it made sense. I just wanted to be a uh, a real encouragement to you guys um, you know when you try not to look at the news but when you look at the news you know the interest rates are going up fuel prices are through the roof um, you know if you're trying to buy a new car you can't get one and there's you know a big weight on them you, you know everything's just bad isn't it it's bad out there but you gotta uh, I just wanted to encourage you to put all that out of your head and just do what you've got to do um, within your means and um, it is important that whatever you've got, whatever you've got camping wise, camping gear, just use it. Get out there. You don't have to go far. A lot of our stuff is within two hours from, um, you know, from Toowoomba. We're in Toowoomba. Um, so yeah, it's just a radius. And I've made a, a point of showing you some of those places that are within that distance. So, you know, like two hour drive, you yeah, okay, you might need a half a tank of fuel depending on what kind of car you're driving. Um, but you just need fuel, a bit of food, Something to cook on, something to sleep on, something to, uh, a bit of wood to make a fire, and you're laughing, and you can have so much fun just doing that, and it takes your mind off 
life, what's going on, you know, in, in the world, and you get to spend that time with your family and with these kids that are growing up, and before you know it, they'll be walking out your door. So I'll leave it with that, guys. Uh, look, leave a comment below. It is my uh, aim that I get back to you within, you know, within 12 hours of you leaving a comment down there. So I'm really keen to hear what you guys are, are got to say. And um, I hope that you've been enjoying the channel, enjoying uh, videos. There's all different sorts and types of videos. Uh, sometimes it's boring me camping or full driving. I'm a bit more cautious when I'm on my own. Uh, or we've got the big family, all the family going, or I've shared, or I've gone with another family to a full drive park. I try to keep it all, you know, interesting. And now we've got Lockie's rig, so uh, we'll see what that brings too. Well, guys, I uh, just want to finish off there. I just want to encourage, uh, if you're a dad watching this video, because um, I'm a dad too, with kids, times are tough. Uh, if you, as I said, you watch the news and it's just doom and gloom. It is tough. It's tough being a dad. And if you're a husband as well, it can be, it's tough being a husband. But I, but I say, your kids, at, when they're in their teenage lives, or even earlier, you've just got to, sometimes you just got to, that's what your focus has to be. You've got to do that and try and put the other stuff aside. And whatever you can achieve, whatever you can do, um, whatever you've got, just, you just got to think, because I've, with my kids, Joshua in year 12, time, I can say, I've just experienced it. Time is just flying past. I don't have too many regrets. I, I, I know I've tried to, particularly the last couple of years, I've just tried to, you know, drop things and just go, go, go for it, go with them. And um, but yeah, uh, you just got to do it. They're important. Camping's refreshing. It just gets your mind off life. It gives you a refresher. It gives you a, a um, I don't know, a recharge. And you can come back and deal with whatever's you know going on. So anyway. Probably one for the out of here. See you on the next one. Woo!